Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a DIY for you that was quite inspired by one of the DIYs I did not too long ago on the minimalistic uh, grouping of DIYs, a lot of wood-based things. And I did a beautiful wood transfer image of a, a vintage floral. I was actually looking for a vintage herb, but the vintage floral turned out so nice and the quality of the Dollar Tree wood was fantastic that I wanted to do a transfer of photos, like old photos, especially to wood and using the same technique that I did with that floral print. So I thought I'd share that process with you. But the reason why this kind of came about was Scarlett and loves to go through old photos of ours. I have a giant box of an absolute mess and she always asks me to take it down and she just loves to go through it. We have pictures of our old dogs, pictures from years ago from when I was little, my great grandparents. I even have like, oh my goodness, like cute pictures. My great grandparents that are no longer here, she'll ask questions about. And then I have pictures of even when I was a baby with my grandparents, which they are still alive, thankfully, and she has met. And then I have some even old photos of like my grandparents with my aunt and my dad. And so she loves looking at these and she'll sit there or even like her and her brother when they were a little younger or me when I was a baby. Anyways, as you can see, these are all prints and I am terrible for having my things digitally organized or any of that stuff. I have a lot of prints in a complete chaos of a mess. And so when she was doing this, I thought, oh my goodness, I need to look for an app. There has to be an app that will facilitate me being able to have these all on digital, just in case anything were ever to go wrong or you know, the pictures get squished or ripped or torn or bent. And that happens sometimes in my mess. So PhotoMine actually is an app that is available to download on your phone. And you basically just hold the phone over the picture you hold down the button for three seconds and the image is immediately put onto your phone it is so easy and oh my goodness so much fun to organize pictures and get things digitally organized if you want to have them printed it makes things so much easier again for the future and to hold on to your stuff as memories in case anything ever happened at least you have access to this through an app photo mine actually has sponsored this video so i want to say thank you very much and they have provided an automatic link down in the description below. If you follow that, it will unlock a code that will give you special features like unlimited scanning, unlimited saving, complete editing features, full access to their customer support, and you can even share the albums with others, which is really cool. The only thing it does include is the cloud premium features. So you'll have to look into that a little bit. What is Classy519, I will put it up on the screen so you have access to it and write it down in the description below. I believe they said if you actually click the link, it will immediately unlock it. If it does not, you have to go into the app and on the side menu, you have to redeem a coupon and then enter my code. So I hope that this helps you and inspires you to get some of your old photos or vintage photos organized into a digital format. I think it will make it so much easier for you to enjoy and pass and share photos um, with future generations because I think pictures are so important for grounding us. They just, they define who we are in a way. You can look back at your pictures and be like, that's right, like you'll remember that memory or it takes you back to a place that sometimes you forget. Our day-to-day -day lives are so busy and pictures are just so important to kind of bring us to a present moment or a past moment or something like that. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. I am working with a piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and an old photo I thought would be fun to transfer onto, uh, transfer it onto wood. I am print, I'm going to print the image so that I don't ruin my actual real photo. So it's going to be a digital print off my computer and uh, I'm gonna process that onto wood and share with you guys how it works. So anyways, until next time everyone, Thank you so very much and thank you so much to PhotoMind for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check out the link down below and check out the app. Until next time everyone, enjoy. What I've done is taken this picture here and I've scanned it and printed it with a laser jet printer. I didn't want to damage the photo and now I'm just putting it on top of a clear plastic mat and I'm going to apply a matte Mod Podge and evenly coat the entire surface area that I want to transfer over to the wood plaque. If you want to cut out images into smaller pieces, 
you can definitely do that. I learned at the very end that maybe I should have done that with this picture and I will show you what I mean. So now the easiest way to get rid of bubbles, I always find, is taking some saran wrap and sometimes it works just by smoothing it out like this. Other times you can just rip some off and turn it into a little ball and then just a applying just a little bit of pressure and smoothing out it takes away all the bubbles you will see that this just smooths everything out there's no fighting I love it because sometimes when you're playing with glue and messing around with paper it just all wrinkles up and crinkles or gets bubbles especially with Mod Podge and you don't want any bubbles when you're doing this transfer so see how nice and smooth this is it's perfect so now I'm going to uh, set this to the side and allow it to dry for 24 hours. So now we're back the next day and I'm going to take a sponge. You can use a towel as well or a cloth. But for this I just thought the sponge would be would work really nicely. And you want to keep uh, applying water, like don't drench it, but then you know slowly applying a little bit more here and there and dabbing some more water on it until you've saturated the page with water and then what will happen is paper will start to peel away just like this so you'll use your hands and gently massaging it back and forth the picture will start to transfer over to the wood and you will see exactly how it works kind of feel when you still have a little bit of paper left so if you need to add, apply a little bit more water go ahead with the sponge and just light a light sponge not a fully saturated wet sponge now you with this image here was totally different than when I did the floral um, just because the picture kind of left a different color on my page it wasn't just an outline this all kind of came through as a bit, a bit of a gray so what I'm going to do is distress the sides and I'm not really happy with it being on you know the wood grained natural look because of the image being a little bit dulled out in gray so what I'm going to do is stain the actual wood using shoe polish from the Dollar Tree to create a bit of a distressed look a little bit more vintage and to kind of blend in this image that I have here that I absolutely love However, I just don't feel that it looks finished on the plaque. So here I am using some shoe polish from the Dollar Tree and I'm using a combination of the black and the white at first, trying to create more of a gray wash onto the natural piece of wood. So I'm using a cloth here to blend out and wash away some of these black streaks and then dabbing more of the white polish kind of gives you more of a gray feel to the color. So just kind of play around with it. I will show you how I create more of a dimension along the sides. It takes a little bit of time building up the color. Again, the white doesn't show very nicely on the plaque. So you got to mix it with the other color that you're going for. You can definitely use brown as well. Um, but I just thought that the gray would kind of blend out that vintage picture that I had. And I think this is already starting to look a little bit more put together. If you had a smaller board and the picture completely covered the board I think it would have been perfect unfortunately um, because I had such a great big border around this picture it didn't turn out as I had anticipated so I'm trying to improvise here and fix up a little bit of the uh, this DIY that's kind of gone wrong <laughs> So now at this point I want the outside of this plaque to stand out quite a bit and kind of give it a finished 3D or bring in everything and tie everything in. So I added a little bit of brown and then I went around and added black and now I'm adding some white again to just blend all the colors out. And if they start to wash out a little bit too much, just go back with your black and get that nice detail in. You can kind of swoop some of it along the top, some of it just straight along the border. This creates a really nice dimension and 
finishes off the plaque just like this. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple DIY. I look forward to hearing from you. If you plan on doing something just like this, you can add your family name. You can do wood burning on here as well if you'd like to add some extra little bonuses but until next time everyone i hope you enjoyed this diy and that you let me know what you think of photo mine until next time everyone have a wonderful day thank you so very much for watching bye for now